It's finally here, a game that I've been waiting for for a very long time, and that's Hogwarts Legacy. So in this video, I just want to show you a few methods that you can do to help fix the game if you're having issues with it crashing, freezing, or not launching on your Windows 10 or 11 computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that Windows is up to date. And you can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, clicking on update and security, and then clicking on the check for updates button. So you can see there that I've also got a feature update available for Windows. If you do have a feature update available, download and install that as well. So the next thing that you're going to want to do to fix Hogwarts Legacy is also ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So depending on what graphics card you have will depend on where you need to go to download the latest driver. If you're not sure what graphics card you have installed in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. Once device manager is open, you then need to expand display adapters and you will then see your graphics card. So as you can see there, I've got an NVIDIA graphics card, which means I'd need to go to the NVIDIA website and then download a driver for a GTX 1660 Super. So I'd need to find a 16 series driver. The reason that I know it's a 16 series is because to start here, the two fast numbers is the series of the NVIDIA graphics card that you have. I will also pop some links in the description below on how you can update your graphics card driver if you're not too sure on how to do this. But it's easy enough to do, just head on over to the website for your graphics card and then just download the driver, install it, and not only can this help fix graphical issues within Hogwarts Legacy, it will also help improve the FPS. So now that you've updated Windows and your graphics card driver, the next thing that you're going to want to do is also ensure that you don't have anything currently open when you're trying to play the game. So if you have Discord open, OBS Studio, MSI Afterburner, or any other program, then close all of these down, as you don't want anything running, as it could be conflicting with Hogwarts Legacy, causing it to crash and not launch. So now that you've updated Windows and your graphics card driver and also closed everything down, go ahead and launch Hogwarts Legacy and see if that resolved the issue that you were having. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in control panel. You then need to open up the control panel and you now need to change the few by to small icons and you will then see an option that says power options. You need to click onto this option. You then need to ensure that you have the high performance option selected so basically what this power plan is going to do is allow your system to use more electric which will help not only increase the FPS in the game but it can also help resolve some of those crashing issues that you may have been facing with the game. So now that you've changed your power plan within Windows the next thing that you need to do is open up File Explorer and then go to this PC and you need to ensure that you have enough space on the hard drive that you have the game installed on. So I've got Hogwarts Legacy installed on my C drive and you can see there that I've got 105 gig free space. So that's plenty of space for the game. But if the drive was getting pretty low, say it's only got 5 gig or 10 gig of space left, I would recommend that you free up some more space. Because if you're letting the drive get too low on this space, that can actually cause many problems with the game obviously again crashing, freezing and not launching. So free up this space and that does also include your C drive, the drive that you have Windows on. So if it is separate to the location where you've installed Hogwarts Legacy, just make sure you've got enough disk space on your C drive as well. So now that you've freed up space, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is unplug all the devices from your computer except for your keyboard and mouse as it could be a device that you've got plugged in, like a microphone, headset, USB stick, something like that, or a controller, that's causing the game to crash. So unplug all the devices. If you do have a spare keyboard or mouse, then unplug your mouse and keyboard as well, and then use the spare keyboard and mouse and see if that helps. If you do have a Razer mouse and you're using Razer Snaps software to customize the RGB of your keyboard or mouse, close down that software as well, because that can also cause issues. That does also go with any other keyboard or mouse that you're using a program to change the RGB lighting effects. 
close down all that software because that software can cause many problems when it comes to not only games but also issues within Windows. So now go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't help then the next thing that you need to do is ensure that your security software is not the cause of the issue. If you have installed a third party security program within Windows then put it either into a passive or a game mode. If it doesn't have the option then disable it but just keep in mind that you might not be protected from security threats while it's disabled. If you do disable it and then launch Hogwarts Legacy and you don't then have the crashing issue, then you know you need to add the game to the exception list within the security software. The next thing that you need to do is go to the location where you installed Hogwarts Legacy. Once you're in that location, you will then see the HogwartsLegacy.exe. You need to right click on this and you then need to go run as administrator. This will give the game extra privileges and it should hopefully help resolve the crashing and other issues that you're having with the game. If that doesn't help fix the issue, then the next thing that you need to do is remain in File Explorer and you then need to click in the address bar. You now need to do the percentage symbol and you then need to type in local app data and then do the percentage symbol again and press enter. You now need to scroll down until you come across the Hogwarts Legacy folder. You now need to go into this folder. You now need to open up the saved folder and you then need to right click on the config folder and go rename. You then need to add BK to the end of the folder name and then press enter. So this is now going to make the game redo your in-game settings. So if you did change a setting within the game that was causing the game to crash, then this is going to change everything back to the default original values. So hopefully that will resolve the issue you've been having with the game. Go ahead now and launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you could do is right click on the saved games folder. So save games and go rename and then add BK to this as well and then press enter and then try and launch the game again. So this is going to remove your saved game data. So if the crashing issue is related to your saved file, then the game will now work. If the game still doesn't work, then you can remove the new folder that gets created and then just rename this folder back to restore your saved data. So if none of the methods so far in the video have helped fix Hogwarts Legacy on your computer, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the program that you purchased the game on. So first I'm going to show you how to verify the game files using Steam, then I will show you how to do this with the Epic Games Launcher. So as you can see I've now got Steam open, you need to go to your games library and you then need to right click on Hogwarts Legacy and you then need to go to properties. You now need to go to local files and you then need to click on the verify integrity of game files. You then need to allow this to run and this is going to check to see if any of the game files have become either corrupted or missing. If Steam does detect an issue, then it will attempt to repair those files. You will then be able to launch the game and then see if that helps resolve the problem. To verify the game files within the Epic Games Launcher, you need to go to your library and then find Hogwarts Legacy within your library. You then need to click on the three dots, so I'm going to use GTA as the example. And you will then see an option that says Manage. You need to select this. And you then need to click on the Verify button. This is then going to verify the game files and then replace them if it does detect an issue. Once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out. I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we have done that I will add more methods to if I can think of any that I wasn't able to add in this video. So if you did like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.